Hey guys, welcome to tonight's extra video. We're headed to the barn. We're just waiting on Gabby. Uh, it's a riding lesson night, I'm assuming. Gabby's riding Nash. I feel like they're really building a partnership, the two of them. Uh, Chino is still at home. We have him at home. We're like at the place in our journey where it hurts to take our horses and leave them someplace else. And I think probably some of you guys would understand how that feels. In the past, we've always boarded our boys so that we could ride them more often because we need an indoor arena. And even though that's been hard, not riding as much, it's also felt amazing having him home and being with him every day and being a part of his life every single day. And he seems really happy. But I wanted to do a super quick update on my puppy before we get into tonight's, into tonight's extra video. Um, you guys know, some of you guys know that I have been, I had struggled trying to decide if a puppy was right for me at this time. I'm 53, this is probably my last puppy that I'll ever get, unless I get another one really fast. <laughs> uh, but, I really have been attracted all my life to little teeny tiny dogs, three pounds and under. And I knew that to get a dog on a farm and have it be that tiny just wasn't gonna work out because I've already been there. And so I opted to get a puppy that was gonna be a little bit bigger, like six pounds, maybe even seven pounds. And I've been kind of on the fence of if I like it or not, or if it's like something that I can adapt to because I've always had little tiny dogs. Well, the good news is, I love it. I love it. She stands on her back feet, puts her paws up in the air for me to pick her up, and I put my hands underneath her little armpits, and I pick her up, and she just feels so sturdy and so comfortable in my arms, and she's almost like baby-sized instead of micro-sized, and it's been glorious and wonderful. So that is it. That's a quick little update I want to tell you guys. I'm really falling in love with her and her size, everything about her. When I come home and I walk in the door, and she runs to me, and she, I pick her up, and she's like all squirming everywhere trying to get close to me and kiss me oh my heart just melts like I'm obsessed with her that moment you realize you have to pee really bad <laughs> and you're at the barn and it's winter and it's night and it's cold and there's only an outhouse oh man I'm gonna have to brave it there's no way I'm gonna last ordered chickens today like well, yeah, we ordered, we ordered specialized breeds they're oh. they're all looking at us Have you ever notice like walking when you have Look to pee them. Is, oh my gosh. Hi! I see his face in a while. <laughs> yeah, he is looking at us. We got treats. He has a blanket on, but it's all ripped. <laughs> Look at it. They're all coming. No, no, we have to go over here. no, there's no fence here. It's best here. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Snow up to my. The whole storm. What happened to your blanket? Oh my gosh. All their blankets are a mess. Hi. Oh, you need your blanket fixed, big guy. You're gonna get hurt. Hi, handsome. Who remembers this favorite. big guy? We brought him treats. Handsome. So one thing I don't miss about Storm, how hard he is on blankets. Here, Look at Stormy boy. Oh, he's the boss. Yeah, he's the boss. Hold on. Hi, buddy. Hey, you want some treats? You're so handsome. She's fixing your blankie. Good oh boy. Gonna be all nice and warm now, huh? We come through. His blanket is not very happy. One thing, like, at least that's one thing he does everywhere he goes. Hi, handsome. We miss you. He's so handsome. Look at his little forelock. Wow, his forelock has never been that bad before. But his tail looks better. <laughs> so go figure. He has no mane. He has no mane. What the heck happened to his mane? He never has mane, Mom. No, he's always had a mane, and now it's gone. I bet you, look at, they all have manes except for him. Look, this is his mane. That is not normally his mane. Look, there's his mane, right there. Oh, maybe it's his mane. It's his mane, Mom. Just that spot needs to be brushed. Hi. We love you. Look at, he has the number lucky seven on his on his forehead. Oh, he says hi YouTube. Do you miss me? <laughs> we love you. Alright, bye Stormy Night. We love you. We brought treats just for you. Look at those happy ears. Look at those happy ears. Alright, now to brave the bathroom. I have to brave the bathroom. It is so cold. I drank a whole, thing out. I drank a whole drink too. I survived the outhouse, you guys. Oh. And 
Now I'm cold though, I had to put on a hat. The hat, hats actually make you so super warm. I didn't bring my puppy because- bring her helmet or her boots. Who? Kate. Kate, she just gets here right now, she's like, She's like, oh, Hi. I don't have my helmet and my boots. I'm like, did you bring your stuff? I told her before we left. I'm like, grab your boots. <laughs> so are you saying she's a normal teenager? <laughs> she's still perfect. Yeah, I'm like, I'm I complain crazy. about Gabby being slow all the time, but in reality, she never forgets stuff. So maybe that's oh, a that's benefit bad. of being slow. I literally said to her, I'm like, you have your boots? Have yeah, because I'm good going home. <laughs> Gabby's like, oh, I do cold. Oh no, Brandon will let her wear his helmet. I know, but it's like, I don't know if she even had boots or Oh my goodness. So I'm teasing Kate about forgetting her stuff and then I forgot to get money for lessons. So now I'm gonna tell Sam <laughs> he has to go take my bank card and get me money. There are no mistakes in life, you guys. Only opportunities to learn. And there's a lesson in everything. Will you go to the bank machine for me? I forgot to get money. I have money in my pocket. I love that even more. All right. We are off, Mr. Nash. I was telling Brandon all about how Stormsfield, all their blankets are in tatters, and he's like, yeah, I'm out there every day putting them back on or fixing them, and they, the boys are just awful. Nash is so grouchy in the stall all the time, and then once he comes into the arena, or once he starts riding, he's always so much happier. No, just in the arena. Just in the arena. Oh, just walking into the arena. So maybe he just doesn't like stalls. Not all horses like stalls. It is almost springtime. Thank goodness. My, my entire uh, winter plan is everything run through. Yeah, I know. Don't you feel like at the end of winter, it just you just feel bogged down? Like it just feels like you've been doing the same thing over and over, and it gets so boring. I hate winter. Yeah, looking at these four walls, it's very boring. I know. Like we can't wait to get outside. All right, I have the best idea, Brandon. Slip out of the stirrups. No stirrups. Why don't you have a contest, a competition, and whatever. We know this. And whoever loses each little competition has to give away one piece of their tack. I'll be such a good coach. <laughs> <laughs> the kids would hate me, but. The first piece of tack, I'm gonna ride them. No, you start easy, take away their stirrups, then take away their saddles. Brandon says he, he's running out of ideas because it's, the winter's been so long. He wants to get outside. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. So they're just warming up right now. I find Nash takes a long time to warm up. Some horses take like take longer to warm up. I have a friend whose horse takes like a good 20, 25 minutes just to warm up and then they're good. I had dill pickle chicken nuggets for dinner and they were so good. It, I was the only one that liked them, but they were the... Oh my gosh, they were so strong. Like, they were so good. I ate them all. We bought it just for all of us to try it and I'm the only one that liked it. Sam put it in his mouth and didn't even bite down and threw it out. But I oh, love dill pickles. I, I love dill pickle chips. Dill pickles, dill pickle chips. Do you like the dill pickle stuff on your popcorn? Yep. Oh, you'll love these I like then. Anything dill pickle. Like it tasted kind of like dill pickle popcorn, but it had like a spicy aftertaste. If I'm gone back now, all my weakness keep on Brandon, you're weird. No, that's a weird oh, he, she said that's a weird diagonal. Weird is in. If you're not weird, then you're not doing it right. I own it, I own it too. I'm an that's good. Like today, I'm a mess. So I watch TikTok 
Work was boring, so you watch TikTok? Yes. Brandon, that's normal. <laughs> that's what everybody does. Well, work was crazy. Like, the phone kept ringing. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to answer this. My TikTok is not ended, so you can wait on hold for a few minutes. Yeah, see, that's what I suspected <laughs> that happens out there when people don't answer. They're watching TikTok. I took my puppy outside for her first walk, and she said, you did not tell me I was a walking puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do cold. Take me back. Circle that at C again, Gabby. Circle at A, Kate. Inside leg. Lift the reins up. Lift up. You keep letting her nose poke to the outside and losing balance. Come on. Leg, leg. We have legs. We have very long legs. Inside. Good. Inside leg. There we go. Better. Look what happens when we put our leg on. There we Magic go. Magic happens. Been steady. There we go. Good boy, Senior Nash. Good. Tall body. And then downward transition. Okay. That was my fault. Okay. Good, Gabby. Keep the eyes up and shoulders. One, two, leg squeeze. Good boy, Senior Nash. when she talks like that. Good job, Good buddy. <laughs> Gabby's like, which one? Show them again, Brandon. Which one? Gabby says that's a traumatizing one. <laughs> Three strides. All right, I'm getting closer. Brandon has banished us to the corner. Eyes up, leg over. <laughs> Gabby, Brennan said, who wants to go first? And before anybody could even think to say something, Kate says, not me. <laughs> you know how you call like the front seat? Front seat, well, Kate was like, not me. So then Gabby said, I guess I'll go first again. <laughs> I, I noticed a pattern. Sorry. This is a yeah, nice, nice bending bow. line. Jen angle. suggested a bending <laughs> line. <laughs> Brandon's like, I don't know what to do. Jen said, how about bending lines? Yeah. So thank your mom. <laughs> thank Jen for that bending line there, Gabby. It was Jen's idea. It was my idea. That's why you don't let the moms in their arena. Don't overthink it. I hate to hear him say that. Don't overthink it. <laughs> okay, so what Jen actually meant was poles on the ground bending. <laughs> so when she just threw out there, let's do pen bending poles, bending lines, didn't mean jumping or treacherous looking jumps. time like this is kind of scary to me okay i'm done with that <laughs> i know what you meant you meant something easy and nice yeah just like some poles on the ground oh kate asked to go first thank you so much gabby says <laughs> What? I said, honestly, I just didn't want to do that. <laughs> Balance. Remember, diagonal she gains that bigger step, okay? Oh, you have that breath, Lily. Whoa, here. Whoa. One, two. <laughs> I'm 
Brandon stops counting. One, two, what was that? <laughs> One, two. I was going to say soften, but <laughs> I did not feel scout. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> He didn't even know if he was going. Yeah, His body went to yeah. Okay. that's the thing about him. Even if he thinks about refusing, the motion's just there. The motion's <laughs> just there. He's like, he doesn't know anything but to he go over the jump. Well, One more time. Well, here, might as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, you know, I think I can do it. <laughs> He'll make a great cross country machine. Keep the haunch in. Whoa, here. Whoa. One, two, stop. There we go. Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> like I would be freaking out. I'd be if I was losing my stirrup just before a jump, I'd freak out. I told Gabby my battery's dying, so she only gets one shot. And she said, Oh, it'll be eventful. I love that she takes her time to get herself like under control before she Holy Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I think she did it on purpose, to be honest. Okay, suck it in. Okay, you just roll it a little bit backwards in, so inside leg, outside and turn. Oh, thank you. Don't want you. to fight too much into the the base of it. You want to have a little bit steadier of a step. Let's try to cross diagonal, pick up a small little canter. Small little. Well, the more you ride them alongside, the bigger that canter strike gets, right? Right there, don't change it. After they do stuff, he'll take like a good five or six minutes and like explain everything to them so that they know what they're doing or what they need to do or they so they can understand it better. But I'm running out of battery. So that was a challenging lesson. Way to rise to the occasion, Brandon. You said you didn't know what to do and then Jen yelled out, hey, how about bending lines and poof, <laughs> we had a challenging lesson. <laughs> Jen didn't know what challenge, what bending lines meant. <laughs> yeah, she well, did. You, don't listen to you did you don't say ride. bending poles. You did say bending poles. Don't you know that you're beautiful?